let's uh, continue on lists. Uh, let's see what we built in the previous chapter. A list, very basically, is we can click on the first name and the system is telling us hello uh, followed by the first name. Now we will want to delete items from this list. So I'm going to introduce a new concept, the long click, long click concept. So basically on a real phone if I put my finger on a, on a name and leave my finger on the name for a couple of uh, seconds, then it's going to delete the first name. So in the code I'm going to change my item click listener for an on item long click listener. Perfect. Um, we'll change the name of that object to item delete listener. So it's a new on item long click listener. Perfect. Uh, now what I'm going to do is get rid of what I had here and I will ask uh, Eclipse to reinstall the unimplemented methods. As I did previously, I will name this one parent and this one position. And uh, here I'm going to use uh, what I created before, item selected, and we're going to say that it's parent dot get item at position and position. And I'm going to convert that to a string. And now I'm going to tell my adapter that I want to delete that item. So adapter dot remove item selected. Good. But now let's have a look at what we did here. We just asked the system to remove an item from the list. We never asked the system to uh, update or redisplay the list. So let's do adapter dot notify data set changed. This is going to send a message to the view and the view is going to redisplay itself. Now you see that as opposed to on item click in the on item long click listener I have a return and here I have a return false. Well that's what you do return false when you have correctly handled the case. And you do return true if you have done something but you also want the system to do what it would normally do when a, a, a long click is detected. So we have a mistake here. Okay, let's set on item long click listener. We'll provide the name, item delete listener. I'm saving and I'm checking. I have my list. I can click on names. Nothing's happening, that's okay. But if I see a long click the name disappear. Destiny is disappearing. And same for all the, the, the names I have here. So it's an interesting feature, but on a, let's say, user interface standpoint, uh, I would really need a, a dialog box here uh, to ask the user to confirm the deletion. That's what we're going to do in the next chapter.